Hey everybody, welcome back to Matic Models. This week, I'm gonna be building the base for the mobile artillery I made in last week's video. If you'd like to build these for yourself, I'm gonna put a link in the description below and you can download the STL files and print them on your own 3D printer. To start off with this base, I started with some styrofoam and I cut it into shapes and I glued it up, except I had the setting way too high and it just melted the styrofoam. So, set it to low and I tried again. And that worked much better. I realize in hindsight, I should have cut out the trench before I glued them together. Um, with my hot wire foam cutter, but I had so much trouble gluing them together, I thought uh, I wasn't gonna start again. So, it is what it is, and it ended up working out just fine. Here I'm just making some uh, planks out of stir sticks or popsicle sticks, and I'm just cutting off the ends so they're not as noticeable, and put them in like a random pattern, put some supports in to hold them back, to hold the soil back, because that's what they're for. And I just made, I made it look like they were more planks in some larger ones, so it would just be easier to slide in there and be held up by those sticks. And I just worked my way through to give it that trench look. Those are just some uh, toothpicks cut in half, and those are gonna be used to hold up the barbed wire. Now I'm just going through and I'm redefining the shape, giving it a little bit more of a dugout feel, and I thought there should be some stairs or something for the soldiers to get down into the trench. So I'm just cutting those out and just getting the basic shape. I'm gonna fill that all back in um, with celluclite. This, uh, this mixture, I like to add the paint right to it. Um, that way it just, it makes painting a lot easier. Um, it's already brown. It looks a little gross, <laughs> as my son pointed out, but um, I, I think it's a really, it's just a time saver. You know, you can, instead of painting every nook and cranny of this, uh, which we will anyway, but this this just helps cover all the styrofoam. And it's a little easier to see where you've put it down. There's a nice contrast there. And I'm just lathering it in. And I'm actually, I put it on really thick because I'm putting these planks in it. I wanted to give it that, you know, real authentic trench look. A lot of trenches like in World War I were notoriously wet and muddy and I just wanted to have the, you know, the mud kind of oozing up in between the beams. And uh, I, think I, I think I accomplished that. I think it looks pretty good. I'm really happy with how it turns out. And I'm just laying them in kind of haphazardly. I'm, I'm trying not to line the seams up just like you would in, in anything else. Gives it a little more authentic look. And here, just slathering on more cellucle. And I go back over it, and I just wet my finger, and that keeps it from sticking to my hand. And I just smooth all this out. And that way, it just looks a little bit more like mud. And we're just gonna redefine the stairs, like I said. Just jam it all in there, and just go back through with another stir stick and kind of redefine each one of those treads just so it looks more like they are really dug out of the ground. And I thought, you know, with soldiers running around in all this mud, maybe they'd put down some things to make it a little easier, some railings and some boards just in the high traffic areas where they'd be working so they wouldn't have to stand in mud. 
pen. I'm just cutting these to shape here. Easier to do after the fact instead of trying to line them all up. And just kind of redefining that so it looks a little bit more like it was cut in the field. And I use some darker mix, a darker mix of the celluclay here. Um, it doesn't end up mattering. Um, I, I put so much paint and, and texture on top of this, but just in case, again, um, you know, it, it gives it a little bit more depth to do the darker, muddier uh, dirt a little darker. Um, that's all. Uh, that's the only reason I did it. And it ends up not mattering, but if you weren't going to go as detailed as I end up going, um, it's, it's a nice uh, little contrast between maybe the drier areas and where the where the, the artillery has been sitting. And I'm just blending that in with a, a wet brush. So I put it down here and then I just take a wet paintbrush and I blend it in and that's how I get those. I get that to look uh, like it's kind of been sitting there and not so just sitting on top of the, the ground. I really like this look with like like a heavy a heavy tank has sunk it into the ground and then I just blend it in with a, a wet paintbrush. That's all that's all that is. It just melts it right into the ground. And here I'm just putting in some uh, some artillery shells and a crate. I just thought it would give it a little bit more life. Um, I designed and printed these shells and crate myself. I designed them in Tinkercad and printed those off on my resin 3D printer as well. I just think it gives it a lot more life to the scene. It makes it look like they've really been using these guns and uh, some spent shells kind of really show some action. And here I, uh, I, I went with the gloss Mod Podge here. Um, again, just uh, in case um, the, 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 the steps coming up don't show um, everything. This is just some dirt from my backyard um, and some grout sprinkled onto that Mod Podge there. And I, I went with the, the high gloss because I, I want this area to look kind of wet um, and I end up going over it with a lot more gloss after um, but again just just to kind of build those those textures I, I went with the gloss it looks a little bit like coffee grounds here and I, I suppose you could use coffee grounds um, I've never tried it but I don't see why that wouldn't work to texture the ground it would smell nice too and this is uh, the old trick from uh, previous videos to get the grout spread evenly. And just dusting it off everything here. A little isopropyl alcohol. And there's another Mod Podge and water mixture and the isopropyl alcohol helps that disperse and lock everything down. This last bit here, I just made some barbed wire out of uh, a couple pieces of wire and then I just made some barbs and glued them to it. And I thought that would just finish that off nicely. And there we go. That's a full base. And next week, you can see we've done a lot more work uh, painting it. Next week's video, I'm going to show you how we go from what we have now to what you see here. And I hope you uh, subscribe and like. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.